didn't expect it happen. Senator Chuck Schumer just said hi to my boyfriend. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to the totally awesome adventures of Ken and Kara. And we're going to... Oyster Fest. For those who don't know what that is, it's a huge, huge fall festival in my town on Long Island where there's gazillions of food vendors, clothing, artwork, animals, there's a pirate ship. We're gonna get lots of food in our stomach and and maybe beer. Our first snack of Oyster Fest? Empanadas. Empanadas. I want 10 more, please. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're really good. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Next. Okay, we're already on to food number two. Ken's got a steak skewer. Tell it how it is, babe. Steak skewer to design customized plans to give your property grand curb appeal. They're certified installers of all brands. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. It's teriyaki stuff. Ooh, I also had a sample of cold brew coffee by Sail Away. You might have heard it or seen it on Instagram. Soda. Let's go get Wild Bill's soda. Woo woo. Next stop, Wild Bill's. Which one sounds the best? I like birch beer. Amen. Man after my own heart. Yeah. Give me some of that, actually. Okay, I'm gonna try it. This is a Ken the Tripod. Oh, yeah. Very good. Oh, yes. Oh. Mm. This steak's actually very well cooked. Mm -hmm. Yup. Bees have infested the wild bills. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, he got the birch beer. Bucking birch beer, whatever it's called. Let me have I've had it before. I've actually had the sarsaparilla one. I really like that one. There was a yes they did. Sarsaparilla? Yeah. Yeah. Um that's fine. Um but there was a lot of bees over there as you saw in the previous clip. So I was not the one doing it because I'm slightly allergic to them and I don't fucking feel like dying today. Crab roll. Man. Crab roll meets man. Baby. Boom. Had to stop by Lexi's Treats and get something for my baby. It's a really cool company with people who care about animals. It's Lexi's Barkery. Check them out. Important update. We got chocolate. Even more important, it's for a cause. My friend Ashley um, has Hermansky Polak syndrome and they do a booth for charity and all the proceeds go to their fundraising and they gave me an extra pretzel but I got chocolate covered bananas from them and I got to hug my favorite person ever, Ashley. So if you see this, thanks. Heading home, Oyster Fest was definitely top notch this year. A great success. We didn't eat as much as we thought because we kind of like stuffed our faces as soon as we got there. <laughs> That's not the worst idea. Um, Let's go get fried potato chicken pockets. And then eat steak and then a uh, crab roll and then like just hoard samples. Um, what was your favorite part of Oyster Fest today, babe? I, don't know, I really liked the uh, 
the food that I like the empanada. The first, those first two. The empanadas were banging. Yeah, those that that, that we, we kind of started out real strong and then fizzled out. So yeah, because the empanadas filled us up really the, well. The empanadas and the steak sandwich were like really freaking good. So um, I would have to say that probably those first two, those first two meals were my favorite part. My favorite part was the petting zoo. Even though I like turned into an animal rights activist and started crying because I saw how unhappy the miniature horses were. But I pet one for like five minutes and it was like wagging its tail. So like, um, obviously the fucking Dr. Doolittle. Um, but otherwise, I liked seeing friends and family. Um, I ended up running into a few people. Um, and uh, the chocolate covered bananas were bomb. Good job, Ashley and everybody on, uh, on the HPS team. All right, guys. This is the end. We are on our way home. Peace out, Oyster Fest 2016. You've been good to us. Full tummies. Mm, very. Happy Hera because I met so many animals. Parrots, dogs, a bunny, unhappy lemurs. That's right, there was a bunny there. There was a bunny. It's a huge bunny. Some lady was just like walking around with it. As is like, there was also a man walking around with like two parrots, but. No judgment there. I would have done the same if I owned parrots. <laughs> Except Ken probably would have never let that happen. No. Anyway, guys, we'll see you next time. Hopefully, I'll be doing more adventure vlogs more often. Hopefully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Woo! See you guys.